everyone, it's Diabetic Danica, and today I'm going to talk about something that could be semi-controversial. Basically, I'm going to talk about calling someone whose pancreas does not produce insulin either a diabetic or a person with diabetes. The other day in class here at nursing school, they told us never call diabetics diabetics, always say person with diabetes. And they said the same thing for epileptics and stuff like that person with epilepsy. And it was funny because one of my friends, he turned to me and he was like, oh, sorry, in a joking way, but like he had been calling me a diabetic. And I was like, no, really, I don't care at all. That doesn't bother me. And then I was like, I think I'll make a video about this. So first of all, I just want to say that I think America as a whole is becoming way too focused on being PC, politically correct, not personal computer. We're just like so worried about offending people that we can't say anything. And while I think it's really important to be nice to people and to be careful with your words and make sure you're not putting people down, I think that some people take words that are literally just words that mean the same thing as another choice of word and they take it as offensive and it wasn't intended that way. And I know the intention doesn't always mean that it's still not bad because you can intend the best and still have bad outcomes and that's still not okay. But I think people take it too far sometimes and get offended at things that they really shouldn't get offended at. So I'm just going to kind of present both sides and kind of say what my opinion is and then I'll give you a chance to say what your opinion is. So on the one hand, I personally use the word diabetic freely, like a bird. It doesn't bother me at all and I just think it's shorter, it's more convenient. Person with diabetes is so long and diabetic is just like boom, said it mean it, done. And in my mind, diabetic and person with diabetes mean the same thing. Diabetic is just a quicker way to say it. It's more efficient to me. Obviously my channel name is Diabetic Danica, so I am not offended by the word diabetic. Now to the other side. The reason people prefer person with diabetes is because diabetic becomes a label and they don't want diabetic to be their identity. They don't want to be seen as a diabetic. First, they want to be seen as a person first. And so when you call someone a diabetic, you're, these people feel taking away their human identity. They don't feel like they're a person to you or a human, a being, they're a diabetic. And that's not who they are. That's a small part of who they are. And so they much prefer to be called a person with diabetes because they're first a person, just like you, and they just happen to have diabetes. It's something that's just with them and it's one small thing that's a part of them. So I definitely see that. I definitely see why you would want that and why you want that respect if you really feel like people who call you diabetic aren't seeing you as a person first, but I just personally don't think that's the case. I think just because someone calls you a diabetic, it doesn't mean they don't see you as who you are. Um, like if I said someone was an epileptic, I wouldn't see them first as having epilepsy. It's just, I happen to be talking about their epilepsy and so, that is what I'm calling it. So I personally don't get offended at all when I'm called a diabetic. I say the word diabetic like there's no tomorrow. In every video I probably say it. I do say it in every video because I say diabetic Danica, but I mean besides that. So now I want to hear what you think. So please tell me in the comments below, number one, do you prefer to be called diabetic or a person with diabetes? And number two, why that is. So I'm thinking of doing a follow-up video to this where I compile some of the best comments, the most, um, you know, expressive and nicely worded and all of that comments and um, make another video to more accurately present both sides because I only have my one view, my one opinion and so I'd like to hear from both sides why they think diabetic and why they think person with diabetes or maybe you're like me and you just don't really care. You could say either one and I would just be like, right, yep, yeah, mm-hmm, diabetic equals person with diabetes. So. And if you're a non-diabetic watching this or a parent of a diabetic or something like that, I would just say to ask the diabetic because diabetic, that word, see I just said diabetic there. I would just say to ask the person because you don't know what they want and don't assume that they're going to get offended by the word diabetic, but also don't assume that they're not. So just ask them, are you okay with me saying diabetic or would you like person with diabetes? And if they ask you to say person with diabetes, please respect that because everyone's different. But for me personally, I just don't want people to be all like walking on eggshells around me like, oh man, oh, I accidentally said diabetic. I feel so horrible. And I'm just like, no, it's all good. It's all good in the hood. There are much more 
worse words to be careful about, so please say diabetic around me, it's fine. <laughs> so I look forward to reading your comments, and I will catch up with you guys soon. Bye! Don't forget to like this video if you really did like it, and subscribe. Who's ready for some shout outs? So, let me get to my list. First shout out is for Grace Stevenson, and that's her channel on YouTube as well. Second one is for Bill Shaw. Hey Bill. I also have a shout out here for Eve McDade. Hello Eve, I love your name. I also wanna say hey to Kaylee Regnier. Don't know if I'm saying your name right. And then lastly, Patrick Kramer. Hello. I am slowly working through these shout outs. That's right. But the more I do, the more people ask to get them, so that's kind of ironic. But that's just fine. Bye!